All right, so first, there was the 35,000 calorie cheat day, then there was the 50,000 calorie challenge, then there was the 100,000 calorie challenge. Pretty proud of that one. So this being the 200,000 subscriber special, I've got to shoot for 200,000 calories, right? Wrong. Yeah, that's like never gonna happen. But as you can see, there's kind of a theme developing in that I'm normally shooting for some insane number of calories. So I thought as kind of a change up, I'd do something a little bit different. So this is Beer Beats Food and this is the 200 pound cheat day. By which I mean, I'm gonna try and eat 200 British pounds worth of food, not consume 200 pounds in weight of food. That'd be nuts. Let's get it! Oh, that one hurt a little bit. Five bacon cheeseburgers all the way, please. Large Cajun fries, grilled cheese, and a milkshake. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it, mate, yes. Bargain. All right, so of course we've got to start a cheat day with five guys, right? But they don't do much in the way of desserts. So right now, I'm craving some donuts. So we're going to Krispy Kreme, and this one has a drive through which... Yeah. I know you love drive throughs um, so I don't know what we're gonna get, but some donuts. delicious, funny, delicious donuts. Always look on the bright side of life. Are you dressed like Always you're gonna go fly a biplane somewhere? What is that snood about? So we're back with the food, so I want to officially but very quickly welcome you to episode number 52 of the Chronicles of Beard. This series has been going a year now, so I just want to say thank you for making this series a success and one of the most enjoyable things to film. It's also the 200,000 subscriber special, even though the channel's already at like 220,000, so I'm kind of late. We're doing something a little bit different today, like I mentioned in the intro. It's going to be 200 pounds worth of food. Hopefully, that's going to be tough, but... I'm gonna try to do it. I'm absolutely famished. The last time I ate was 4 p.m. yesterday. It's now, hopefully you can see that, 2054, Sunday the 25th of February. And I've got a bunch of delicious food in front of me. I'm not gonna go through every single thing individually. I'll talk my way through it uh, because I'm super hungry. I've been like fasting for hours now. Uh, suffice to say, we've got a bunch of stuff from Krispy Kreme, a bunch of stuff from Five Guys, and uh, we're gonna eat it. At this point, I'm not really sure how many calories are here in front of me. I'm assuming somewhere around 10,000 because all this food is super calorie dense. Um, I know it was roughly speaking 75 British pounds, so we're almost halfway there already after this. All right, let's stop the five guys. Delicious. Urged. What's happening Beard Army? Welcome back. Today it's the, well, I'm sure you've seen the title of the video already. It's the 200,000 subscriber special. I know it's a couple of weeks late, but I got there in the end. It's also episode number 52 of the Chronicles of Beard series. So I thought I would roll the two together and do an epic cheat day. Uh, I asked you guys last week, actually I think maybe the week before, what you wanted to see. And um, it was close, but most people asked for some kind of cheat day. I think most people recognize that it was not going to be 200,000 calories, but I'm sure some people will be disappointed. I'm a really noisy eater. Anyway, as you can see, meal number one is five guys with Krispy Kreme for dessert. <clears throat> All right, now. I'm going to enjoy this last one. Mm. 
Look at that, sheer bliss. Nothing will elicit that kind of reaction on my face like Five Guys. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to overdo the commentary today. I just wanted to dip in and say hello, to say thank you for uh, getting me to this milestone. I really do appreciate it. It's amazing to think it was only 100,000 just a few months ago. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. It's a little bit more laid back. And uh, Lindsay's on it later on, so stay tuned for that. I think I figured out why they call it Five Guys. Clearly... That's the recommended serving size, like, how many burgers should I get? Five, guys. <laughs> Alright, that was a terrible joke, but... <clears throat> those burgers were delicious. I do have one more thing, which I really like from Five Guys. It's pretty simple, it's just a grilled cheese sandwich. Yummy. I'm gonna go with the classic. This is, I keep tweeting them to ask them to change the name of this concoction to the beard shape because this is peanut butter, Oreo, and bacon. So, it's delicious, essentially. Right, next we got the Cajun fries. These are a little bit cold already, but I'm just gonna dip them in here. You can just tell how many calories are in Five Guys food when you eat it because to a normal person, what I just ate there might seem like a lot, but it's not really that much food, right? And I'm nowhere near full, but you get this kind of feeling in the back of your throat as if your body's telling you to stop. <laughs> like, this is too much. What are you doing to yourself? It's weird. I guess it's so rich, you know, and so fatty, but Delicious. Nothing is as delicious as that milkshake though. Next we got some um, stuff from uh, Krispy Kreme. This is the um, Hershey's ring donut, I guess. I got two, <clears throat> two of each donut that I felt like eating. So this is um, strawberry cheesecake, I think. The last of the bacon milkshake. Normally I would get two, I don't know why I didn't get two. He got two! <coughs> I like the Krispy Kreme ring donuts, but the filled ones are always just too much. They're like intensely sweet. All right, next we'll go with the... Excuse me, lemon meringue. I don't really know why I got this. That was actually really nice. Kind of um, soft, creamy. I expected it to be really sour. Lemon meringue is normally, you know, pretty sour. It's basically like lemon and icing sugar. But it's actually pretty, um, 
pretty smooth and mild. It sounds like I'm talking about a cigarette. <laughs> I think this is chocolate custard. All right, now I'm really excited about these two. Biscoff, or Bischoff, not really figured out how you say it yet, but really excited about these two. I also got a Biscoff milkshake. So I'm gonna drink all those together. So I'm gonna go with the uh, apple pie donuts next <laughs> and the cool thing about these is they've got like a cross hatching on the top so it looks like an actual apple pie although the Jam on the inside looks um, kind of orange. Which it tastes like apple, but it's definitely orange in color. I'm getting a little tired of this now. I'm gonna try this Biscoff milkshake. Ooh. That's uh, it's pretty creamy. I'm not really sure about the taste of that. These are actually delicious. <clears throat> I should have bought like 12 of these. If you like Biscoff spread, you'll love these. I think they've been around for a long time. I just never tried them. Yeah, in terms of the donuts, I think my favorites here were, of course, the uh, the Biscoff or Bischoff donuts. And uh, the lemon meringue ones were also surprisingly good. Really pretty mellow in taste. I think I just dropped a little there. Um, the milkshake, the Biscoff milkshake, not so much. That was It was kind of almost like it hadn't been mixed up. It had like little clots of cream in there, which were kind of weird and made me feel a little bit nauseous. But on the whole, I mean, it's Krispy Kreme, right? These donuts were delicious and had lots of calories in them. The milkshake was not quite as nice as the donut. <sighs> oh, it's making me want to heave, not even full. And before anyone mentions it, there's absolutely no chance <clears throat> of me eating this pickle. It's probably like Three calories anyway. All right, meal number one is done. All right, so it's the morning after meal number one. Just got back from the gym, got the laptop, rendering some of the footage from yesterday, and I got the most important ingredient after any day of big eating. Warm coffee. Why is it the most important thing? Well, usually because after eating that kind of food in that kind of quantity, it doesn't often want to come out your colon, so this helps. Anyway, I just finished that coffee. I'm gonna wait for that footage to render. Then I'm gonna go get some breakfast. I think we're about 14,000 calories in, about 75 quid spent, so there's a long way to go. But actually, I feel all right. I don't look too puffy or anything just yet, but. I'm sure tomorrow I'll look terrible. Anyways, let's do it. It was delicious last time. I don't know. What, uh, can I get two full breakfast sizzlers? It's gonna sound like a lot, but can I get uh, two of the blueberry pancakes. pancakes and two of the chocolate and banana ones? And can I also have a hot chocolate, please? All right, so I'm back at Chiquitos, and if you watch the channel regularly, you might remember that I was here just a few weeks ago doing like a huge breakfast challenge, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Um, I'm gonna be ordering quite a lot of food. But I was so impressed um, by the quality of the breakfast that I figured I'd come back today 
I'm gonna enjoy this. I don't know how many calories are here, but I'll put the count up on screen as well as the cost. It is 10.51. Let's get stuck into it. Breakfast time. Yeah, one of my favorite parts about doing these cheat days is I get to eat breakfast, which is something I don't do on a normal day-to-day -day basis, but breakfast foods are some of my favorite types of foods to eat. So this morning I was craving some Chiquitos, which as I mentioned a few moments ago, it's not actually that long since I was last here, but I was that impressed by the breakfast that time that um, I thought it would be the perfect point to stop off, to fuel up this morning, and uh, I was right, it was delicious. This is piping hot. Yeah, it was a little hot. I ordered four servings of pancakes and two, I think they call it the full sizzler breakfast, which has like sausage and... Mushroom is probably not the best choice when I'm going for like a lot of calories. <laughs> yeah, mushrooms, which I think are one of the lowest calorie vegetables out there, apart from maybe like lettuce. So probably not the greatest choice, but still it was uh, it was delicious. I think this comes in at around four and a half thousand calories, maybe. But I'll put up um, some graphics on screen afterwards. Also got hot chocolate, which was delicious. And uh, in a second, I just get to these pancakes. And uh, yeah, the two things come together in one beautiful union. Start dipping the pancakes in the hot chocolate. All right, so we got the raspberry and blueberry pancakes. Two servings here. Chocolate and banana pancakes, but they didn't have any banana. So we just got extra chocolate. Yeah, the fact that they had no banana was... A little bit of a bummer, but you know, not the end of the world. They also come with this weird fruit compote, which um, I thought was ice cream or sorbet or something at first, but it was just kind of really cold seasoned fruit. Look at that shot. It's a little bit overexposed, I won't lie. In fact, the lighting in this scene is terrible because it keeps changing because um, there was actually a blizzard outside, believe it or not. Here in England, we just experienced the beast from the east, which was just a storm, really. Not a regular storm, it was a snowstorm. We don't get much snow here, fortunately, but it was some today. No, I know what you're thinking. Who eats fruit on a cheat day? Well, I'm sure we like fruit, so I do. It was actually a hot chocolate, so I'm gonna dip the pancakes in the hot chocolate. I told you. It might look a little bit disgusting, but it tasted really good. This was a full cream hot chocolate. You don't want to mess around with that skinny hot chocolate stuff, you know. If you're going to go get hot chocolate, it might as well be the real deal. Anyways, I'll let you watch me finish these pancakes, and then we'll move on to the next meal. I don't think I've ever eaten that clean. Like ever, not even at my grandma's house. Bit doesn't leave blueberries behind. I don't know what this is. Oh, thank you very much. What is this stuff? It's like I'm eating a cocktail, it's weird. <laughs> so I bet you thought when I said there was a blizzard outside, that, that was exaggerating. Or maybe I was exaggerating a bit, but ah, as you can see, it's snowing, which is kind of annoying, but um, ah, oh, I need to put my camera away. I don't think this thing is weather sealed. So they're calling that storm the beast from the east. It's pretty beastly. So the rest of today's video is gonna take place at home. All right, so as you can see, I just did a quick wardrobe change. This is actually my lucky pancake shirt. So I probably should have worn this for the last meal, but for all the skeptics out there, it's still... It's still Monday the 26th of February. Crap, that means it's my mum's birthday tomorrow. 
and it's about lunchtime. And there's still a long way to go. I think I'm only about halfway there, maybe just over. I think maybe just spent like a little bit over 100 pounds. Also want to get a few more calories in, so I need to kick that into overdrive. Fortunately, I recently discovered Amazon Prime now, which is incredible because you can basically buy things and they arrive at your house within two hours. So let's see what kind of funky stuff we can buy. This right here, you probably can't see that, but it's a deep fat fryer, which I've always kind of wanted, but never really had an excuse to buy. But today, given that this is the 200 pound cheat day, pretty much trying to spend as much as I can. So why not, right? All right, this is more like it, more familiar. I don't really like that whole side angle thing. Uh, cast too many shadows over there. I don't have enough soft boxes to fill it in. So we're going with the front angle for the next meal. I'm just gonna have a couple of snacks and open some mail. Cause I've just collected some uh, mail from my PO box a few days ago. So I left it until today on purpose. Uh, so I could open it on film, thought it might be kind of fun. But I got these, uh... <laughs> American snacks, I guess you'd say, from uh, one of the local import places. And I actually purposefully saved the receipt for this because some of the American watches will not believe how expensive this is over here. But uh, this cost me, I don't know if you can see that, this cost me 33 pounds and 43 pence for pretty much some Twinkies, some of these weird green apple Jolly Rancher flavor pop tarts. That sounds gross. Couple of flips and uh, some chocolate and some drinks. So whatever, the idea is to spend 200 pounds if possible. So let's get all this stuff ready and pull in big box of uh, stuff. All right, I'm a little bit peckish, so I'm gonna start with these caramel sea salt covered pretzels. I love a little sweet and salty. This is my favorite drink as well. AMW root beer. Start with this one. Ugh. <coughs> what the heck is that? <coughs> Alright, that wasn't actually like a letter bomb or anything. <coughs> I just opened it the wrong way. It was like a cushion pack, so I exposed some of the cushion material. Anyway. Comes with a leper. It says, Dear Beard slash Adam, you are a great man with an epic, epic beard. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful to have been introduced to you by the late great T Bone Tony from Chicago. And I wish a joint challenge with him could have taken place. For those of you who don't know, um, T Bone Tony, Tony Mitchell, was another competitive eater and a um, long-term fan of mine, and he recently passed away, so, um, it's kind of nice to be reminded of stuff like that from time to time, you know, it was a really sad thing that we lost Tony, you know, and I used to talk to him a lot every day on Twitter, he used to ask me all the time to do 200 Dunkin' Donuts munchkins, the little donut holes, um, and I really wanted to meet him one day and, and do uh, some kind of contest or eating challenge together, so, it's nice to be reminded of that. You provided me with hours of entertainment, so I felt compelled to provide you with something in return. Hopefully you will return to North Carolina, and we can enjoy some of these creamy, dreamy grits from the Flying Biscuit together. Keep up the great work on your channel, mate. Big Ant from North Carolina. Proud member of the Beard Army. That is awesome. And actually, I might be coming back to North Carolina, so hopefully that can happen. Oh my goodness me, this is amazing. 
All right, so you're probably wondering why I'm getting so excited, but this is um, cranberry apple butter, which is delicious. Uh, but it's from the Flying Biscuit Cafe, which if you've been watching a while, you might remember the first time I went out to uh, North Carolina rally um, for the Highway 55 World Burger Eating Championships last year. I did like a little mini cheat day, went to some local restaurants, and I went to this place called the Flying Biscuit, which serves the greatest breakfast I've ever tasted in my life. So I can't wait to make it back this year. So Ant for sending me this, thank you so much. That's amazing. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is rad. Hope you can see the, the little message on there. It says, OMG, oh my grits, Flying Biscuit Cafe. That is incredible. Thank you so much for that. I need some more food. Mmm, <laughs> are really, really nice. I think I like these more than the white fudge version. The white fudge version is pretty common. You can normally find that a lot of places in England, but I've never seen this before. This next flavor is a uh, birthday cake. I'm not feeling it. Can't really taste a birthday cake, but I'm not sure that's a bad thing because pretzels and birthday cake. Let's open another gift. <coughs> Try not to inhale the packaging this time. This one says, to a genuinely nice guy, thanks for keeping us entertained. You're one in a million. Cheers, Adam, from Colin. Oh, I know this is. Probably can't see that from there, but. This is from a guy called uh, Colin. His website is restoreoldphotos.co.uk. Um, he's a photographer, basically, um, but big fan. And um, he sent me this. A gentleman's guide to beard and moustache management. This is like a illustrated book. I love books with pictures. Not because I'm eight, it's just, you know, I appreciate that art. But, um, it's probably a little too bright maybe, but that is very cool. Thank you very much, Colin, if you're watching. I'm gonna open this, this is a letter. Alright, this one says, Dear Beard Meets Foods, my name is Jennifer Law, nice to meet you. I'm age 23, I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I speak Cantonese and English. I don't eat meat or onion, also garlic. I'm vegetarian, I'm very happy that I know you. You awesome man, be nice to your wife. <laughs> Good advice. Don't get sick if you eat a lot of food. Hope I can talk to you again. Bye. Thank you. We've got one more package, but I'm gonna eat a few more of these. Uh, they're growing on me a little bit, these uh, birthday cake flips. Oh man, you got so much time? I didn't show the time, people are gonna say I'm cheating. All right, it is. 15-24, Monday 26th of February. Alright, circuit box, they were actually pretty nice. They weren't as nice as the um, salted caramel ones. I think that's probably because I ate those first and they were really nice. But uh, we got one more package here. Alright, so we got a uh, snapback. Everyone knows I love a good hat. This is all from Samson Athletics. And I've actually got some of this stuff already. They do some pretty cool, like, gym related funny slogan t shirts. So, it's a cool hat. I'll put that on the sofa back there. I'm making the wrong kind of gains today Hershey's cookies and cream bar. This might get me in trouble in terms of YouTube monetization. 
Oh no, it's not actually a swear. It just looks like a swear. I actually kind of like kale, but whatever. <laughs> Squats will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus like me. That's a line from the Predator, if you don't know. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus just like me. Jesse Ventura says that, I think, to the rest of the guys before they all get horrifically massacred by the Predator. <laughs> Open these suckers up. I think these cost me like 12 quid or something ridiculous. All right, Twinkies. Let's see what all the fuss is about. They're an interesting spongy texture. Why do they wrap them individually? Why would you ever eat just one of these? They're the kind of thing you could eat like a hundred of and it wouldn't be that difficult. All right. <clears throat> Every time I drink from my can, I've got to do that just to prove that it's finished. Otherwise people lose their minds. One of my favorite drinks of all time, Arizona <coughs> lemon tea. I like peach tea, but the lemon one is good too. I think for now I'm gonna leave the um, Jolly Rancher Pop Tarts. Whose idea was that? I'm gonna leave the Jolly Rancher Pop Tarts for now. Maybe, wacky idea, but maybe I could deep fry these. Has to at least make them taste better. Fun meal. Oh, and uh, thank you for all the stuff. Is it just me or does two liters of oil sound like a lot of oil? And this thing's starting to smell weird. This thing is taking a ridiculous amount of time to heat up. I'm sure it's pretty much been like an hour and 10 minutes already. Oops, these broke off. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure why I thought it was a good idea to deep fry pop tarts, but I did. It took a long time, but um, got there in the end. I'd like to say they look delicious, but they don't, and they smell even worse. But I'm gonna get stuck into them and see what it tastes like. The other four, I'll probably save for later, but we'll see about that. This is the last mug in the house. Hopefully, it gives me a good look. Look at that, it's like radioactive slime. What are you eating now? Apple. It's supposed to be green. It's a deep fried apple pop tart. I bought a deep fat fryer. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Can I use it? Yeah. My favourite meal of all time, deep fat fried fish and green chips. It's such not deep fried toast. Whatever you cook in there might taste kind of apple-y though. Oh, this is dreadful. Ah, suck it up. This just doesn't taste right. Uh, that weird fruity apple taste is just, it doesn't work. <laughs> that was easily one of the worst things I've ever eaten in my life. On the plus side, I don't think it would have been any better had I not deep fried it. So welcome to the weirdest experience of my life. Um, welcome. <laughs> we are currently <laughs> we are currently sat in the back seat. Yeah, the back seat of the Range Rover. 
very lovely. Um, <laughs> That's how we do. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. You could probably just hear the camera motor making weird sounds. Why is it not going back on? Um, yeah, anyway, it's 19... Oh, shut up. So it's 1927, Monday, 26th of February. Um, just about to finish off the 200,000 subscriber special. Um, I think I, I've kind of eyeballed it so far. I'm not entirely sure that I've got 200 quid's worth of food in total, but I, we just spent 25 quid. I think I needed to spend 20 to get over the 200 mark, um, but I'm kind of cheating because Lindsay's helping out with this one. So we're in the back seat of the car for some reason. The footage probably looks terrible because it's, you know, it's pitch black, it's night time. It's always like really hard to film these cheat days in England because you get like five hours of good light. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eat this McDonald's now. Two happy meals, woohoo! <laughs> so Mark, I hope nobody thing. pulls up next to us. Before, I wonder what it does. These are chicken selects. I got chocolate milkshake. I didn't get a straw for my milkshake. It's too thick. It's not even running. I'll eat it dry. Don't give me any ketchup. This is a. This is a disaster. Shambolic. <laughs> oh. Now for the bestest part of a happy meal. Fish fingers. Mm -mm -mm. Jealous? No, they're dreadful. <laughs> no, these are actually really good ones if you look. So some of them are really floppy, but these ones... <laughs> yeah, say, these ones are well done. Yeah, but she likes it floppy. <laughs> I should have put it. <laughs> one more, one more, you can do it. No, open. <laughs> so someone's just pulled up outside of us, and even though we've got tinted windows, this is gonna look pretty fun. This is gonna look pretty weird. Well, I bet there's chicken nugget. I dry swallow too many. Oh. I need this chocolate milkshake to melt. I can't. I can't eat McDonald's food dry. <laughs> I don't want it. Just, just eat it, man. Mm. That was. <laughs> that was the. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, so that you have to eat. All in one. <laughs> oh, that was really easy to eat. How many of them do you eat? <laughs> Open your mouth. I bet not. That was really trying to swallow it. Are you finished? Is that finished? There's more debris than in one of my restaurant shows than there. <laughs> so you the king of debris. Wait, you do <laughs> <laughs> You just That on. was a low blow. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a messy eater at contests sometimes. And sometimes in restaurants. Sorry, you, sorry you've got something. <laughs> and sometimes at home. Sorry. Can I have my ice cream? Uh, oh, do I have to yeah, my hold second that. meal? Have you not eaten your second Happy Meal yet? I'm not happy enough. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also have my Coca-Cola as well, please? Alright. No, I want my Coca-Cola too. Yeah, I'm going to get your Coca-Cola. Chill out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's pull. Why don't we use this as a, a seat? Oh, good thinking. <laughs> I didn't know I had this. Why have you not opened it? Adam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is better than our first date. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say much though. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's a full fat coke too. There's no fat in coke. I hate when people say that. I'm sure most people if they watch my videos are gonna know it's plain. McFlurry! <laughs> he told me to get dressed up. He was taking me out. He said it'd be really fancy. What he failed to tell me is that fancy is the back seat of our Range Rover. <laughs> it's pretty fancy. He 
said there'd be a lot of ambient lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at your own job? Just sat here watching all the cars go. Oh, there's still a Big Mac in there. There's still two Big Macs in there. Meal. You need to eat that. No, it's it's my gift. Do to the you. business, babe. Do the business. No, I'm on to dessert. <laughs> oh, should we see what toy I've got? Watch that. It's going toy. Do you like fish fingers? I brought some for Breeze for afterwards. Other air fresheners are available though. <laughs> Always good to keep that handy if you're in a <laughs> confined space with me. Oh, I don't even want it. <laughs> Alright, so we had a few technical difficulties there in the car park of McDonald's. I didn't really plan out the final stage of this cheat day too well, but I thought it might be kind of fun to get Lindsay involved. A lot of people like it when she's in my videos, but you know, technically it's cheating, so I guess I failed, but um, whatever, it's just for fun anyway. Made it back home, I think we just about got enough time left to finish these two Big Macs. These were Lindsay's idea of a joke, and this chocolate milkshake, as of right now it is, Ah, sick and tired of food. Let's get it finished. Uh, I don't even wanna... <gasps> she could have at least ordered Mac Juniors. I'm getting to the point now where my stomach just feels like a bag with stuff in it. Nothing's moving, it's just sat there. Ugh. I'm not entirely sure whether I ate 200 pounds worth of food, but I definitely purchased 200 pounds worth of food and it was a fun journey. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just want to say again, thank you so much for getting me to this milestone and uh, I'm going to keep the content coming. I'm sure you guys have noticed. I know a lot of you have. Um, the improvement in content and stuff like that, trying new editing techniques out and cool new filming stuff. So. Stay tuned for more on that. Just gonna keep bringing out bigger and better videos. <laughs> Hopefully, if I don't die of Big Mac poisoning. But yeah, this is Beer Mixed Food and that was a 200 pound cheat day. Kinda. Catch you next time. <laughs>